In this video, we'll show you how to create a MacBook network. You'll need to plug your MacBook into a wired internet source, so an Ethernet cable and a dongle if necessary will be required. Next, head to your system preferences and click on the network icon. In this area, you'll need to ensure that your internet connection is giving you an internet signal. Currently, mine is not, and you can see that because of all the red displays. Sometimes clicking out of it and then back into it will refresh and allow your computer to see that the internet signal is being received through the ethernet cable, like mine is here under the Thunderbolt ethernet number three. Next, we'll go back to your system preferences main window and we'll click on the sharing icon. If your internet sharing in the service window is checked, uncheck it and that will allow you to change your settings from where you're going to share your connection from and how the computers will connect to your network. So since my internet's coming in under Thunderbolt Ethernet number three. And I'll double check that by going back to my network. I can see it's coming in under Ethernet number three. And it's connected. I'm now going to go back to my sharing. And I'm going to share my connection from Thunderbolt Ethernet three. And we're going to share the internet connection to computers using Wi Fi. By clicking Wi-Fi options, I'll be able to name my network and assign a password to the network. Now that my settings are configured, I can now check next to internet sharing and I will confirm that I do want to turn my Wi-Fi on to ensure that I can share via Wi-Fi and we'll begin the internet sharing by pressing start. When this is working, you'll notice that a upward arrow in your Wi-Fi um, icon will appear. So it'll no longer look like the waves when you're usually using Wi-Fi. It's actually going to have an arrow pointing out showing that you're actually sharing through Wi-Fi instead of receiving. I'm now going to launch Reflector on my MacBook Pro. However, Apple TV, Air Server, or any other AirPlay option would now be able to connect to this network for iPad or iPhone mirroring. I'm now going to take an iPad 2 and connect to Pierce MacBook Pro Wi-Fi and I will use the AirPlay button to mirror the iPad screen to my MacBook Pro through Reflector. It's also useful to note that an iPhone 4S or better can also do the same thing. So here you'll see my iPhone 5S being mirrored to my MacBook Pro through Reflector. The same can be done on an Apple TV through this method. To learn more about using iPads in your classroom, visit tapintoteenminds.com.